Okay, guys, welcome back to Zardom's Total War, um, where we're playing as Venice. Now, this should be part three, and we should be getting some battles in it. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get any battles in part one and two. or oh, not really. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the episode with some battles, because we got Udin down to two turns. I think we have a mission for that one, don't we? Yep, yeah, uh, we're just going to get some units. No big deal. We're actually in debt and it is only turn nine reason being at the start of the campaign i activated the um black diff um script and i did not realize it was going to kick off literally on turn two and it did so we've lost a lot of population um but yeah that's pretty much over with might still have some of it around um we're also going to capture padua or we should because that's down to one, we've got Ferrara down to six, so we probably won't get that one. Although this army has the trebuchets, which is interesting because, because this trebuchet used to be right there. So I don't know why it's moved. In fact, can we fix that up? Yeah, I don't know why it moved all the way over there, but in an order resolve, it would have taken a lot of casualties, wouldn't it? <laughs> but we're not going to order resolve it. Also, we sold off three of our settlements, didn't we? Um, because I decided I could not defend them against all the people who would likely attack us. So we sold, I think that was Malabon. Modon, Modon. Uh, we sold it to our new allies, the Florentines, who are from Northern Italy. We gave the Hungarians this one, I think Negroponte. Yep, and Nasso. So we gave that one to the Papal States and we got an alliance with them. So the only one down here that we have at the moment, um, we don't need any of those three for our victory conditions. We need Crete uh, for our victory conditions and I've held on to that one. So we need, <clears throat> in fact it shows us we need Travixio Polar, which is there. The one we don't have is Jadira over here. and. Candia is the one on Crete, which you can see down there. So we only need 15. We need a knockout Genoa, which is up in northern Italy. And we will get to them. We should start making money again pretty soon. Our re uh, population is going to be rebounding. Yeah, up to 7.5% there. Only 1.5% there because it is a fortress. You still have the plague. And you're losing a lot of people. But yeah, in turn. Unless I need to move any diplomats, do I? We've got a lot of bishops. That was by in the Tyrol. Right. <clears throat> you're in southern Italy, going to Naples, I think. You're at some place called Hum. Never heard of that one before. Only got two diplomats. Oh, I had three. Oh well. And as we're playing as Venice, we get merchants back. Yay! Not all of the factions in this mod have merchants. Um, but the Italian ones do, or the North Italian factions in this version have merchants. Now, great news. Um, it looks like RTR Imperium Serectum for Rome Remastered got its um, update or hotfix or bug fix this morning and looks like I'll be able to start recording some campaigns in that. That's always proven to be very popular on the channel. Ah, oh, they didn't even put up a fight. Well, I guess I lied then about having, I think it has plague in there, doesn't it? <clears throat> I lied about having a battle. Oh, it's got a massive population now. I think it had 38,000 at one point. I mean, it's only making 875, but that's going to rebound, although it doesn't have a port. I mean, I could get that and fund a lot of settlements. Um, people isn't it 
I'm going to do that one. Thieves Guild. Yeah, we'll accept that. What else has happened? Um, the next year. Oh, did it come back? To my capital? Sometimes it'll do that. Uh, maybe somebody sent a spy into my capital. Because in this version, you can get to uh, Venice by land. But in the um, other campaign, the Fall of Constantinople campaign, it's completely isolated. And you have to do naval invasions. Yeah, it's come back, hasn't it? Blast it. Yeah. So... Where did all that money go? Didn't I get like 9,000? Uh, hold on a second. You were only at negative 477, wasn't it? And I got 9,000 plus. And only 1,000 went into that building I just got, so... Happened to the rest. I'm going to have to go back and look at this. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, you are both going to have plague. There's a Bosnian army. We do need to put somebody over there. We are still at war with the Bosnians. Although, this chap over here at home. Can we get out of it? <clears throat> Accepted, yes, good. Barely accepted. We can't get an alliance. Right. <clears throat> There's also Ragusa. Who we're at war with, isn't it? We're going to try and stay at war with them. Ragusa. And they should be around here somewhere. Alright. There's Ragusa. There it is. Right. He's just going to wait there. And try and get us over that wall. There's Naples. Right, now War Trinacria and Athens. No surprise because those are pretty much the same. They are allied to the Papal States. If I allied with Naples, that might upset Athens, but we don't border them anymore. No. Do I want an alliance with them? Can I get an alliance with them? Accepted. And accepted. You still have a mixed reputation, although I don't think we deserve that. I don't think we deserve it. Yeah. God, where did that money go? Well, I think you're going up into uh, Switzerland. Well, I guess we'll have to build something there. This one, that's our starting building. Everything comes from after that. Uh, we've got a good population, yeah. Oh, next level is 170,000. Right. <clears throat> You're constructing. Constructing, constructing, constructing. More constructing. We've only got a small force there. He's still got the plague. Hmm. Now, that's some cheap cav. We can't retrain anyone over here. We didn't take any losses. Or did we? Yes, we did. Because they have 151 in a full unit. So, he was taking damage from the plague prior to capturing that. Oh, they have the stakes, don't they? And it takes nine turns to get them again. So very useful because we'll be facing a lot of heavy cav, I suspect, in northern Italy. I want to get some uh, ports up into the mountain passes because there's only, I think, two passes from Italy uh, going north. And then there's one pass through Austrian territory. All right, are they just going to give up? That's going to be anticlimactic, isn't it? Oh yes, I had, I did have three generals on that little fleet. Uh, two of them 
should still be alive. One of them died in episode 2, because they all got the plague, didn't they? And we do actually have one extra general down on uh, Crete. But he might be getting a little old by now. Oh yes, that's that little fort. Uh, Genoa. Yeah, I couldn't do anything about that. I'd completely forgotten I even had that fort. I mean, he could fight it because he could put down stake. Uh, Genoese marines. Yeah. Uh, There's not really much point. Why has he got that many kills? Well, we don't have to worry about them. Uh, yeah, I'd completely forgotten about that fort up in the Crimea. Are they gonna fight? Yes. Good. We'll get at least one battle. Right, against Ludovico della Torre. Well, he's going to have a Italian bodyguard cavalry. We've got infantry, we've got a heavy spear unit, our general, uh, which I didn't realise before I started this. We've got a lot of crossbows. I've got one light cavalry. Alright. Should win it. Ah, uh, there's somebody going off to a warm reception right there. Or a couple going off. Right, there he is, uh, my general. Excutori, is it? Yeah, Excus Excusati, guard. Right. Enough of those. On. Right, they take four turns just to recruit that unit. We'll be able to do a lot of good work with all of our missiles. Get in there, shoot them up. <clears throat> okay, they should be close enough. Are you not close enough? They don't have that great range though. Another crossbows. They are in range of somebody. Alright, just chill out there. Now, that's a melee unit. Got a good amount of uh, spears. <coughs> so we should be able to defend our missile units. Move all the way out on that line. Right, no range. They haven't done much, They're still trying to get organised. Right, that's their cav, that's their general right there, charging my... I suppose. Oh, he actually broke them. Unexpected. They might rally. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset. But our men are winning hmm. and forging a world. Get back. Oh, they broke another unit, although they are only a militia unit. Took out several units already. Who did you get caught by? Oh, by him. Get away. You're going to take them out. It's a nice solid line, or it looks like a solid line. Look at all those different shields. They can do 
filter on. Um, for me, that's only really useful when you're stuck behind the city gate or in a breach and you don't want the, your unit to get flanked or take the morale penalty of being flanked. You're not going to catch up to them because they're being chased. I'm going to have to sacrifice them. Um, actually bring him back. They broke another spear unit. Alright. Can you pick off anyone? Ballastiri. Yeah, go after them. I'm actually not doing that great. I lost 20%. Still, there are only trash units, really. Now, you should be doing okay. you got war hammers, I believe. At least you've rallied. Why is my Master General just stopping? Don't stop there. Well, they're down to 14. More ballastery. Oh great, my neighbours just started up with their construction project, which I thought they'd finished. Yeah. There's absolutely no zoning in the Philippines. You can literally do what you want, wherever you want. Nobody will ever stop you. Yeah, not only can you do it anywhere, but you can do it any time, day or night. Get away. You're going to get crushed. Praise to our Lord. Did we kill him? Yes, we've killed him. Wherever his name was, Ludovico. He did a fine job though. Taking out many of my troops. <clears throat> Why did you stop? Why did you go after somebody? Yeah, these ones are not really taking any damage, are they? They're definitely good in melee. I don't know how, long, how well they do against cavalry charges. you stop again? Stop stopping. Alright, who can we use you against to be able to break them? And my general's only lost, what, one guy? Maybe not even one. Those are broken. Start rolling this up. Who's holding there? Charge after them. Keep going. Now we've got them on the run. Uh, wherever you're at, find that tree. We've got 20 heavy cav to deal with. Somebody will get to them. We might even be able to take the hand center. And those are broken. 100 prisoners. The enemy are badly blooded. They have lost. Oh, their men. he had stakes, didn't he? But we didn't get to put them down. You're not doing your job properly. I might try to get in and 
hold that gate. We captured the gatehouse. Oh, 50% casualties. We'll get some replenishment. Four hundred prisoners. Wonder if I can get anyone on these walls. Go over there, General. Get an errand down. Down the gate. How many do they have left? Lord preserve us. We have lost half I can't even head. focus on them. Andrew Levin. You're not firing. Nine. Of course, they're going to be very good against armor, aren't they? Take away half their value. Ooh, he just broke. Now I've got to go back and uh, get the town center. They're a tough unit. You're going to have to go around now, or wait, they're going to come out, or are they? Nope, change their mind. I told you to get up on the wall. Get up there so the gate blows. <clears throat> you must have killed off all of that cow, right? Go on, come out. They have rallied at the town centre. In our favour, if we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Right, all the units, oh no, there's still a unit out here, the Cav? No. Curses. Our men no longer command the city. Patriarchate of Kilia. Hmm. Still haven't claimed it. Who's holding you back? Right, then you come back. You're having a lot of trouble getting past this one guy. Or three. Our men have taken control of the city. That was a lot of casualties. Sixty percent. And that was just for Udin, which is now a rather small town. They broke again. Come on, somebody get in there and finish the job. Come on, General. So who exactly is that? Italian Spear Militia. Oh 
Hmm. They are broken. But they'll rally once they get there. The enemy there it is. All of Christendom will be all well, we've got 11 or 12 percent back. Far too many casualties. Their cavalry did a number on us. Those two single units. Because we couldn't counter them. Ah, stupid is the blacksmith who can take the hot iron with pincers, but instead uses his hands. I know somebody exactly like that. I won't mention who it is, but I live with them. No matter how many times I tell them not to pick up um, hot pans and pots with their hands, instead use gloves, they never listen. Very frustrating, because then they say, ouch, I burnt myself. Right, I think they've got like still. Right, I'm gonna walk in. I we'll still get five hundred. I swear something happened when we captured Padua that that money disappeared. Ooh, we now have Master Thieves. The money's not going up. Continuing, is it? Ah, we can now get bombards. It's 1350 AD. Good. Alright, does he still have two? Yep. Antonio and Giovanni. Do they have to play? Well, we got that. We got four units of Cav. Wow. Uh, my leader and faction heir. Yep. Giovanni Dolphin. Is that you? No, there's a different Giovanni. Right, both of those are free of the play, at least for the moment. Um, Venice. And not the Admiral, who's controlling that. That's good. How many ships are left? We shall continue tomorrow, my lord. Your orders? Yes. Right. 80. Yes, my lord. Ah, we lost a priest over there. Well, no more plague over there. People states very good. If we can get out of that war with Ragusa for the moment. Good. Mm. We're at war with Serbia. We accept excellent. What else would you suggest? I am afraid another proposition. We shall listen. Let us give this. Right, good. We are aware of that war as well. Now we're gonna head on down through Nacria. Ooh, that was so lucky. Look, there's their diplomat. We don't have to go all the way down. Accepted. Good. I think that's all of the ones that we need to talk to. Um, Milan as well. I don't think we'll talk to them. Right. That's the other pass, I think, coming through. That one and this one. Right. <clears throat> well, they don't have playing at the moment. There's a good spread to them. 15,000. And drop your tax down. Uh, we can get oarsmen, so they must. Yeah, they've got ports. That's where they're getting those from. Right, now you have the plague. Can I get a spy? I cannot get a spy. Where am I going to get a spy from? There. Might be able to spread it to our enemies. Good, Verona. There was another rebel army out there. They might be in that fort. 
Yep, there we are, under Guido. Right. Now we don't have the money for this. Um, actually, I'm going to boost that temporarily. So we can get some money. many settlements. Money should start going up. That can now only hold four. We got four units there. They did go in as reinforcements. Well, free upkeep. But they've already taken plague. I don't really want to send those out, but we can put them in there. Hmm. wonder if I could bribe him. Right. Only get one free upkeep. Any other fort I could occupy? Well, we got that one. Hmm. Send them over there. Alright, got the dockyards. And that's going to be it for this episode. So we've got two extra elements. We've got peace with a couple of factions. Once that plague has gone, um, in our most profitable settlement, that money will roll in. Absolutely roll in. There is Venice. That's Venice's port over there. In the uh, Wall of Constantinople campaign, there's no land bridge. Uh, this is just a bigger island where you can actually land on it. All those little buildings sitting out in the water there. I'm sure everyone has flood insurance in Venice. 